This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Renter's Rants. I'm your host, John Renter's, the show where I get super mad, red faced, and start to sweat profusely talking about things that make me super cranky pants. Up this week, I want to talk about this guy. Well, not this one in particular, but the general genre in which it lives batteries. Why they suck, why they can't get better, and why they are the bottleneck holding back electronics. This is Renter's Rants. Let's get our ranties in a bunch. <laughs> So if you're watching this video, you, like me, probably share some passing passion with the world of consumer electronics. You love your gadgets, you love your gizmos, you'd like to take them on the road, you'd like to take them on the toilet, because I know you play Angry Birds while you are pooping. And I'm actually pointing at someone in particular. Him, I know that you play Angry Birds while you are pooping. We use our electronics everywhere, they're ubiquitous in our lives. The problem is they die so quickly. Not physically, like they fall off a cliff or um, somehow have an electronics heart attack. They run out of battery life. And we've seen over the past almost 10 years, battery technology has stayed almost totally stagnant. Well, processing power has gone way, way, way up. So therein lies a problem. We have so much power, but not enough things to provide power to the processor. So what happens is batteries get bigger and bigger and bigger, but the efficiency of those cells don't get any better. And so using almost the same battery technology uh, we used almost back at the original Razer phone, yet processors have gotten you know, single core, dual core, quad core, octa core. So it got me back thinking about my old Game Boy days. If you don't know what the Game Boy was, I feel very, very sad for you. It was an awesome thing to play Tetris and black and white Mario. And I loved the thing, but I could only get my game on and maybe for about an hour, hour and a half before the batteries died. And I figured, as a little John would, you know, I was just that big. John, don't you worry, chin up. Battery life is going to get better. By the time you're a teenager, your Game Boy will last you for four hours. And by the time you're in high school, they're gonna last you for eight hours. And by the time you're in college, they'll last you for 10 hours. And by the time you're a grown old man, you're gonna be able to play your Game Boy for days and days and days. And if I could go back to the other John when he was a little kid, you'd be very disappointed right now because things just have not gotten better. So why haven't they gotten better? Why hasn't technology improved? Lithium ion is pretty much the standard that's used right now. It's actually it's pretty much the same standard that's used in electric cars. Uh, primarily just stacks and stacks and stacks of cells uh, are what make these cars go what makes electronics go up They still haven't improved. There are things that are coming. We've got lithium air batteries which are supposedly going to improve efficiency But the innovation behind battery technology has just not been there. Listen, I'm a selfish guy I want to use my phone for 19 days and not plug it in At the very least Why can't I recharge it using the Sun or some sort of other kinetic motion while I'm running around? Battery life just needs to get better. Things need to last longer. And I wish, I wish that they would. So to you, battery maker, to you, Panasonic, and anybody else considering innovating, don't innovate in faster processors. There are plenty of people to do that. Leave that to AMD, leave that to Intel, leave that to NVIDIA and Qualcomm. Make better batteries. Put the R&D technology behind that. That is so important for how we do things. Not only, and hear me out, will it reduce landfills? Less batteries getting thrown away. It'll reduce the charge on the grid, so there'll be less energy being used. And whether you use a clean energy or dirty energy, which really doesn't matter, less of it will be used, so more efficiency will happen. And the world will be smiling, and that kid and me can play Mario Brothers and Tetris for 10, 12, 14 hours without having to worry. Or, in retrospect, probably having to talk to another kid. So please, work on it. Make things better. I want better battery technology. So let me exhale. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Full Sail University. Listen, if you use a smartphone or a tablet, you know that the mobile web development world is on fire right now and Full Sail University's mobile web development program has the answer for you. I'm pointing at you. So in this degree, you learn about the, both the programming and business development sides of mobile application development so that you can concept, deploy, develop, and market an application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app development for both iOS and Android. Through Full Sail University's LaunchBox program, you also receive a MacBook Pro. So you've got all the tools you need to start your developing. So between Apple's App Store and Google Play, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded and many, many more every day. So get on the bandwagon, give it a shot. This is really the next gold rush of the technology era. So for more information, go to fullseal.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more. Am I wrong? Am I just cranky in my old age? I've been accused of worse. I wanna hear from you. Leave that in the comments right down below in my pants region. Thank you guys for watching their episode of Rettinger's Rants. Check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you next video. <laughs>